got the police, they done pulled over uh, a Corvette. You see, look at that. You see, you see him looking at me. Pulled over the stingray, y'all. I went up to the car. Hey, man, I'm just going to let you go with a little warning. You was going 40 and a 35. Look at Y'all can see the difference that St. Mary's County Sheriff it's a difference. If this car was, it's, it's a, it's a two-door car, but if this car had two young black people in it, they would have had the task force out here for a traffic stop. Like you can see in my video I did yesterday, they pulled over a car with about four individuals in it, all of them young and black. But instead of, you know what I'm saying, three or four officers coming out. They had about 10 officers out there. Not only did, not only after the traffic stop or whatever, they let the people go, gave them their citations or whatever they gave them. They rode around the same neighborhood. Soon as they got finished with that traffic stop, gave the people the paperwork. Soon as they got finished with the traffic stop, they rode around. It's like a little roundabout where I was, uh, well, I was there yesterday. It's like a little roundabout. They they was leaving out the neighborhood, and they kept coming back to the neighborhood, leaving back out, coming back in. Then all of a sudden, they pulled up on a guy that was all the way down the street. Uh, I guess he was out there playing basketball or whatever. They jumped out on him or whatever, told him he had a warrant or something. They got him, you know what I'm saying, locked him up or whatever. Took him, took him on the way away from the scene. And then that, then right after that, y'all, they left. I, you know what I'm saying? Look, pulling somebody else over, y'all. So y'all look at this. This is what St. Mary's County Sheriff's is. They, what they doing. I bet they probably pulling that, uh, cause that's an Acura. I bet they pulling them over for a tent violation. So they pull right behind them. I'm about to go over there. But like I said, they locked the dude up or whatever. And I want to say about 100 feet from where they locked the dude up, they pulled over another car. Look, probably giving him a little citation or whatever. Probably a warning. But they locked the dude up and then went right around the corner, which is probably ain't even 100 feet, and pulled some. Look, they just let the person go. <laughs> they just let the person go. Like, <laughs> y'all see this? But they didn't pull, they didn't lock the dude up. And like I said, it wasn't even 100 feet. They went somewhere right around the corner and pulled over a girl. Pulled her over. So she asked me, because she, you know what I'm saying? She watched some of my videos or whatever. I mean, I told them before, like, if y'all in the car and the police pull y'all over and it's a couple of y'all in the car and the police ask for y'all ID, don't nobody have to give their ID but the driver. Unless they are suspected of a crime, you know what I'm saying? But she she asked me, she was like, hey, she like what she like, what uh what right is it? Cause he asked my my passenger for an ID. I say, no, nah, the passenger ain't gotta give her an ID. She like, well she did. So I'm like, shit, that's her fault. You gave it to him now. It's no reason for you to ask me when I didn't already told you before that 
you know what I'm saying, passengers don't have to get their ID. You pulled over this car, why are you asking me, I'm in the back seat or I'm in the passenger seat, why are you asking me for my ID? So y'all see they let, let the Corvette go. Now he going, he going back, they go set up, him and the other sheriff, they going back and set up where they was at. So I might do some more videos.